Today we're back looking at Topaz Labs Video AI 6 and I'm gonna blow your mind with some of the newest features to do with recovery and specifically looking at upscaling old footage that might have been lost, whether it was just taken at a really low degraded quality or maybe it's really old. If you're looking to bring that back to life, if you're somebody who's looking for that type of capability, this is the video for you. As well, I'm going to add on my full in-depth review of some features that people did mention in the comments that I might have overlooked, specifically to do with upscaling in general. So let's dive in guys. If you wanna check out my full initial in-depth review, I will link that up there somewhere for you to check out. But today I wanna to show you the newest features of this incredible software. If you're a video shooter of any kind, man, this is probably gonna become an essential part of your workflow, especially if you're into low light shooting or higher ISOs. This is honestly, for me, just a must. And honestly, I can confidently shoot in a lot of cases with just my kind of few year old cell phone and now run it through the software and get some pretty darn good results. So let's dive in, not waste any time. You gotta check this out. Okay, so here we are in program. For those of you who have never used this, it's very easy, very intuitive. For the most part, it's a drag and drop program. You can just kind of pick a file folder and drag it in after you start a new project. And there's even templates for you to start editing. So if you have watched my other video, if you're not aware, this thing does incredible conversions to slow motion from just regular footage. If you wanted to slow down just a 24 frames per second shooting slow motion footage into four, eight, or more slow motion, it does an incredible job at adding frames and doing whatever it's doing to look make it look natural. It's fantastic. It can also stabilize, it can also denoise as you've seen. But I wanted to focus again in this video with the upscaling and the new Starlight feature. Project Starlight is basically a way for you to take old degraded footage like this. This is incredibly high ISO, over 100,000 ISO, and you can run it through their only AI diffusion model currently out there, and it's gonna give you some absolutely incredible results. So here is the before. This is the video here. As you can see, very, very noisy, just degraded, loss of complete quality and detail, and well, Here's a side-by-side -side look at just how incredible this program is. So the difference between the before and the after, the degradation of quality is fixed, the natural motions, the recovery in detail, it's just very, very impressive. So this is Project Starlight. There are a few caveats, but this is the type of thing that you can expect. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments, but for me, this is just wild. Here's a few of their examples from very old footage taken from who knows what, who knows when, and really, really improved to look like it's a modern day shot. Very impressive if you ask me. If you are perhaps trying to recover some old family footage for somebody or for yourself, this is kind of exactly what you can expect. So if you can manage to find a way to get that old film to digital, it can do a great job at giving you a beautiful, natural, and very nice result. For me, one of the greatest things about this program is that it's kind of a one-stop shop. If you have old, grainy, small resolution, noisy footage, it's a program that can do everything that you need it to do. It can upscale, it can denoise, it can bring back the sharpness and the detail into your images. It can do everything. So rather than having a bunch of programs that do different things, it can do all of it in one, which is really nice. And again, if you have seen some of my specific use cases, if you're just looking to maybe convert to slow motion or to only denoise, it's great at that too. But this Starlight really takes things to the next level and gives us an incredible glimpse at the future. So one thing to note about rendering and Starlight specifically, over here we have our different models. If you're just looking to do a specific, again, denoise or slow motion, you can pick whatever you want to have done. If you want more detail recovered, you can kind of fine tune it. But if you did want to use the Starlight model, I will warn you, it is insanely computer and graphic intensive. And I mean insane, you need a very, very good computer. And if you are using it, it's going to be occupied for a long time. I have a decent computer these days. And when I try to use the Starlight Mini, which is the local rendering, it will take hours and hours and hours and hours. So just know that and expect that. But there is a faster, easier, more convenient option, which is uploading it to the cloud. 
Now, of course, this is very quick and easy and convenient, but it does come at a cost of credits. So having a look at the credits, it's probably nothing new because a lot of programs and a lot of companies are going this route. You can subscribe monthly and save a big portion, but if you are looking to do quite a bit of rendering here with Starlight, it's gonna cost you credits. So again, you have to weigh the pros and the cons of upgrading your computer and having that waiting time or just paying for some credits and getting it right out of the gate. You can do the one-time purchase, which is of course more expensive, or you can use the subscription model and save up to 50% or more. So to give you an idea about how many credits it's going to take for our Starlight here, you're looking at about 90 credits for a 1080p video per minute of 30 frames per second footage. If you're gonna output 4K, you're looking at about 150 credits. So it's not super cheap. Of course, I expect this to come down in time as things advance more and more. But for now, if you are looking at this subscription model, this is kind of what you can expect. Now here's some examples of some upscaling. If you didn't want to go the subscription route, if you just want to buy the program, this is what you're looking at straight out of camera, 1080p at 32,000 ISO. Here we are after a very simple upscale. This is about a 10 second edit. So from 1080 to 4K with their Nix denoise algorithm. And for me, it looks pretty good. This is straight out of camera 4K on the left. We have our original 1080p project here and then after the upscale and the denoise on the right. Not too shabby for 32,000 ISO. Here's another example in some decent light with a lower ISO but still in 720. This is upscaled to 4K and then cropped in two times. As you can see the detail, the noise, everything is improved. So if you are stuck from a mistake, older footage or whatever, know that you're in good hands. So again, the upscale capabilities of this program are very good in my opinion. And that's not to mention, of course, the slow-mo capabilities, turning regular footage into buttery smooth, professional looking slow motion, and of course the denoising, very high ISO or footage that you might've thought was lost can now be recovered and used in a lot of cases professionally. So all in all, a fantastic program. And if you are on the fence, I really recommend you have a look at my full in-depth, non-sponsored review once again. A great in-depth look at me pushing this program to its limits. As always, I'd love to know your thoughts about this program down in the comments. So there you have it guys, there's my updated review of the new Topaz Labs Video AI6 and Project Starlight. I think it's absolutely incredible. Again, this is not a sponsored video whatsoever. This is my own experience, my own money, all that jazz. If you do appreciate that, hit that like and subscribe button, join the community. Check out the affiliate link down below. There might even be a promo code to pick this software up if you are so inclined. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.